happy Halloween. It is Halloween 2017. Um, so I woke up this morning at five, which is really early for me. And I went to bed at midnight. So I think it's just because I slept so much the night before. Maybe. I don't know. I, I need the sleep. I think I might have a cold. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know. I, I can't tell the difference and I'm not like deathly ill. I just sound ridiculous and it's all in my head. So it's like I either have a head cold or my allergies are just like out to get me, which both are very possible. Um, I just started my sheets because I want my sheets washed. It's been a little while. I haven't even put that sheet strap on yet. So I'm going to do that. Um, I got a lot of work done this morning, mostly like Halloween liking stuff. And now I'm going to attempt to make like jack o lantern pancakes. I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what comes from this. Uh, just something fun for the kids. And yeah, it's what 7:40. 7:40. Oh, chaperoning today. Yay. All these pretty pants though. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. My favorite ones. I'll show not you. Not been purchased yet, and these are these ones. I think I might keep these. They're just like my favorite. I don't know why. They're not like the prettiest. Um, but they're just my fave. So, anyways, Oh, that's my warning. That's the pumpkin stem. Uh, no fair. Ah! Do you want a pumpkin, pumpkin pancake? Maybe like a, there's like a sea lion head right there. I kind of see a dinosaur like with the tail. <laughs> oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Like I don't understand. I, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting better though. Like this is better, right? Cause there's like white on the top and there's brown. Like, <laughs> there's progress. It's not just one color. Um, and, like, you can tell my foam is right. It's just practice. And I guess if I was, like, a barista, I'm giving you more opportunity to look at my abstract art here. If I were a bar barista, I would have multiple opportunities a day to practice. But I'm only making, like, five lattes a week, so it's, like, a slow process. All right, made it out to run the puppies. I've got my coffee and my super hairy sweatshirt thank you so much gage now i can let roller yep it's awesome he was running away and i just grabbed him and carried him from the neighbor's yard into my car he left me with a ton of fur so um oh i was like just thinking like did i start the vacuum yes i started the vacuum the vacuum needs to run our house is a mess from dumping out everything from this weekend there's just like dirt everywhere and like candy remnants and stuff so. oh man what a day already it's like waking up early I thought I'd have more done but to be honest I spent like 30 45 minutes just browsing Facebook blindly getting like sucked into some of those video wormholes where you're just like watching video after video and suddenly you're looking at like makeup Halloween makeup tutorials and I can't even do makeup like normal so I don't even know why I'm watching them but they're very interesting so Anyways, that was my morning. Um, yeah, good times. Cheers. <laughs> All right, we, we, I just made it to the pumpkin patch. Um, I'm now waiting on the kids to get here so that I can chaperone. Um, Drake's teacher is so different than any teacher I've ever experienced. First of all, to chaperone, she only wanted six people. So she did this, the sign up dot, sorry, but the sun is like right in front of me. Um, she did the sign up dot, whatever it is. Anyways, the sign up sheet and we all had to sign up and it was only the first six people who could sign up. So she did that. I don't even know if six people signed up, but anyways, we got a conduct, like an expectation code of conduct type email <laughs> stating <laughs> what was expected out of us as chaperones, which is great, but I've been chaperoning now. This is my fourth year and I've never experienced that before. So, I mean, it's only the fourth teacher that I've field chaperone field trips for, but still it was definitely different. It was an interesting surprise. Um, I threw on this, this Mimi, <laughs> it's like a, it was a LuLaRoe thing. Oh, looks like another pair might be here. Um, to go over because I want to wear my leggings and my shirt, but I, and I don't want to wear a jacket because I don't have one that matches, but I don't want to be cold. All right, they're parking next to me. Mommy, 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 mommy. Oh, I love that you still like me. Hello. Your brother would ignore me. Hi, Drake. Love you, mommy. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get on the hay ride. I can't 
believe you're meeting me. Why? Deacon would not let you come, right? No, Deacon wouldn't let me come on this one. Yeah, but I'm letting you come. Wait, Thanks, Pete. Can I sit right here, Dave? Oh. Yeah. You know, like, the only <laughs> corn in here? That was We're in the maze. The yeah, there was some corn in here. Yeah. You've never done a guided tour of a corn maze before, have you? I found it on the ground. It's a nice way to not get lost. This would have been helpful on Friday. Right. <laughs> this is a good way. This is one big circle, so we're just going to follow a circle around. If you go on the other side, it's giant, and you could kind of get lost, but eventually you'd find your way out. Now that the weather's getting cold, it's easier. We can see, I can, if you're tall enough, you can see the buses, and if you look through, sometimes you can see cars. This is the best time ever! My corn corn! Hello, Drake. Which one are you thinking, Drake? Look at how cute this one is. I'm looking for. Whoa, this one looks kind of skinny. That one's pretty neat. These are adorable little pumpkins, aren't they? They're not that big. No, they're really cute. Oh, this one's a little lower. And same with this guy. It's so cute. All right, my chaperoning duties have commenced. That was uh, peachy. So, anyways, really, really fun. I'm glad I did it. Drake's such a little mama's boy that it just, I love it so much because Deacon's always like, Mom, don't, don't kiss me, don't hug me, don't. And I don't remember when that changed, but I'm eating it up because I know that it changes fast. So, I think kindergarten, they still like mom. First grade, sort of. By second grade, no. Um, at least with Deacon. So, anyways, heading back home now to get to work and eat. I'm really hungry. Breakfast didn't hold me over. All right, I'm working on making the bed. Trying to get these, we'll see if we can get these sheet straps to work like easily. We shall see. It definitely, is it gonna focus? Maybe, maybe not. We'll try focusing on the wall. Anyways, it was quite the task. Well, this thing's about focusing. It was quite the task to like get it on. The bed definitely, the sheet, what in the There world? we go. <laughs> the sheet is definitely a lot tighter. Um, you can tell like down here in the corner like how much tighter it is. So we'll see if like it affects the sides. These are our favorite sheets, so I don't know. We'll see, hopefully this works. I don't know. Fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know. So I just sat down. I like the driver back there. <laughs> That's a normal couch, back of the couch thing. Um, to get some work done, which is kind of telling me that I must not be 100% because I'm usually like, I stand all day. I don't sit very often, except for like in the evenings I'll sit and work, but otherwise I'm like standing all day long. So I don't know, that or I'm just tired. I woke up really early, I don't know what's wrong with me. I am gonna put the peanut butter away though. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it as soon as I get up. I'm not going to keep it on my couch for another day. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Anyways, um, it's dawned on me that I'm alone now on Halloween for the rest of the day. My boyfriend's not home tonight. My kids are getting picked up by their dad after school, and he has them until tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I, I, I don't even know. They have their girls so, do you guys know the boys have a sister? Did I tell you guys that? They have a they have two stepsisters, like not including like my boyfriend's kids, but um their stepmom has two daughters and then they have an actual like biological half sister. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. But um it's her first Halloween, so they wanted them to, you know, all go trick or treating together and <sighs> that just leaves me little old me by myself. <laughs> like what am I going to do? I have two separate friends having parties, but they both live like 40 minutes away in opposite directions, like a full opposite directions. So it's like, I mean, from each other, they're like over an hour apart. So I don't know what I'll do. I don't know if I'll just stay home and pass out candy. Well, if I stay home, I'm definitely passing out candy because I need it out of the house. Or if I'm going to just work all night, I need to work on the laundry. But now... Like, my day, my time restraints have totally been lifted. I'm rambling, you guys. All right, getting laundry done. My goodness, I've got about two-thirds of it finished, and now I'm going to get the rest 
And wrap it up. This is what I have left. It's so nice to be able to like put it all away. Granted, we've dirtied another load, but still almost there. I am eating some, well, like another lunch, basically a snack, I guess is what you'd call this. Um, I'm basically snacking my way through the day. So this is the one I love so much. I, I don't feel like I need to explain it again because I've had this so many times. But I went to Costco and I got more tomatoes, so yay, I can have it again. Unfortunately, you know, they weren't on sale this time, but I'm happy to have this back in my life. I have decided, I decided that I'm going to stay home. So I'm going to pass out candy to all the little trick-or-treaters. And because I don't have any carved pumpkins, I'm just going to light some candles in here and hope that it glows through and I'm lighting up my little witch that I got from this weekend and um, stuff like that. So we'll see. It should be good. I'm just not in the mood to go out when I have so much I can do. Here, maybe that'll, hopefully that'll go. I'm done working. I'm tired um, of working. <laughs> like my face, look at my face. I look haggard. Um, I'm going to clean the kitchen. I just put on Hocus Pocus because you know, hocus pocus. And I am going to clean up and just get some stuff done around the house and pass out candy if trick-or-treaters come. I've actually never passed out candy at this house, so I have no idea if anybody even trick-or-treats here. But I'm prepared if they are, so. Um, it's my happenings First tonight. trick-or-treaters, and now I'm like, sad. <sighs> this is like the super crappy part. Of divorce is like that so yeah now I'm sad <laughs> those kids were so cute though and yeah anyways um I just finished vacuuming the stairs and the kitchen is clean and was kind of getting stuff done putting laundry away starting more laundry dusting very exciting stuff I'm mopping now because you guys that's how exciting my life is <laughs> I think I've looked over at the TV maybe twice. Um, yeah, so anyways, now I'm just mopping. It's 7 o'clock. I've maybe had 20 trick-or-treaters. It's kind of sad. So I've started giving out a whole lot more candy because I don't need it all in my house. But let me show you um, my front yard. It's cute for not having a pumpkin. Least, I think it's cute. So I've got my little jack-o'-lantern and my candle, and it's my no-pumpkin alternative. And then my ghost... He's a cute little thing. Of course, I've got fall leaves, you know, adding to the decor because that's just the way it is. My heart rock, like Drake especially, collects heart rocks for me. So, yes, I need to sleep. There's another one. I usually stick something behind it. Um, and you can see the heart a little bit better, but that's Drake's doing. I'm starting to get hungry again. And this is always the predicament when I'm home alone is, what am I going to eat? Because... I don't want to cook anything. Like, I'm not going to dirty my perfectly clean kitchen for me. Um, I ate a lot of cake about two hours ago. <laughs> and those, like, peanut butter and jelly crackers I like so much. So I haven't been hungry, but suddenly I'm like, oh, I should eat something before it gets too late. I just don't know what. Around mm. some decor, just a little bit. A little bit of, like, fall decor. I need that candle to melt outside so that I can put the PB Assist in that jar so as soon as that candle melts it's gonna have its it's gonna live here um so i've got like just a little bit of decoration Let's see what we'll give thanks is this scratched no okay it's just like <laughs> dirty <laughs> i'm like whoa how did that happen um anyways a few things frozen meal in my house chili relleno so i'm gonna cook this for dinner <laughs> Um, that sh maybe be good. I don't too bad. Know. Definitely edible. It'll do the trick. Um, not the best, but not bad. It'd be better if it were spicier. Every time, night, every time the doorbell rings, they've had these bones forever. They like refuse to eat them. Every time the doorbell rings, Caliber gets up and he goes to the door with me and he stands like right behind my leg. And I've been, it's every other kid has talked about how big he is. Is he really that big of a dog? Are you that big? Or is it because I'm short? You look bigger? I don't know, his brother Cannon, if you remember Cannon, he was so much taller. So, I don't know, people are like, that's a really big dog. I don't know if he's like, making faces behind me. <laughs> what are you doing? Why does everybody think you're so big? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but lots and lots of comments about how big he is. I feel like he's very average size, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> You're such a good guard dog. You're a good boy. Well, I mean, let's see. How tall are you to me? Yeah, I guess your hip height. Guys, I'm getting down there in the candy department. This is this is all that I have left. It's like one layer deep. I have it in a super fancy bucket. It's like a tote. <laughs> are you my protector? You're such a good boy. And then he goes and lays back down. <laughs> a few minutes after nine. Look at it. We got like stray m and Isn't that always bizarre? It's either my kids were sneaking candy and trying to be sneaky or the, you know, just a manufacturing goof. Um, some of my favorites left just because. And since it is a school night, I am going to go lights out. So, oh, two went out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.